Oh, man. Y'all ain't ready. I almost gave you a little bit of it. <laughs> well, if you just joined us, this is your girl, Marge. And this is the Soul Society. Every Wednesday from 2 to 4, you can find us here on WHFR.FM 89.3. Well, like I promised, we got Miss D. Yada up in the house. All righty then. All right, Miss Diana, let me turn up on that mic now. Say what's up to the people. What's up, y'all? What's up? I'm in the house. All right. If they say, is I'm live? <laughs> is I'm live? We yeah. Got- we live today. Boy, we got... We got some heavy hitters up in here today. We got Miss Diada. Miss right. Diada, tell Detroit what's up. What's up, Detroit? I'm in the house. I'm in the building with Marge. All right. And then we also got Miss Boss up in here. Hey, hey. All right. That's what I like. <laughs> How That's you what... feeling? <laughs> hey, let me tell you. I'm doing peachy. Oh, good. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. We getting warmed up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But all our listeners, they know. They know. They're at work working hard or hardly working one or the other but that's all right but here on the soul society we like to keep it real so before we kick off the interview mm-hmm. with miss diada we're gonna go ahead and play her new what miss diada i'm gonna let you do the honors of telling us what we're gonna play <laughs> we, we're gonna play uh my first single off my album titled the rebirth and it's called superhuman And um, it's going to be released on all digital platforms as of January 20th, 2017, the new year. So um, keep y'all calendars marked for that. And um, it's called Superhuman, and it's quite provocative. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. That means I better get ready to get on, get on my post. All right. That, my ears lit up at that. Okay. All right. So before we get started, Miss Diada, how did you come up with the title Superhuman? Actually, I came up with the title Superhuman because um, I felt like, you know, no matter what obstacle that you're going through, wow. you know, if you fall, just bounce back and get back up and brush some shoulders off and keep it moving. So Superhuman is is sort of like um, saying that, you know, no matter what, what you're going through, you can overcome it. You know, just don't quit. Just keep going well, is, and, and become superhuman about your stuff. All right. Well, we know about that, especially as women. We are super, super human. All day, That's every day. Right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's kick it off. So we're going to okay, we play superhuman <laughs> here on the station making waves. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Making major moves right here. Look up and we moving. Looking out for my people. This dystopia so evil. Superpowers like Neo. Pump it up, I'm here for. Keep it up, we gon' beef it up. I'ma freak it up and I'ma heat it up. No giving up. Proceed to work. Do dirt. We curse. We first. Let's see, surf. I'm inside your speakers. Smoked out on reefer. This is my rebirth. Superhuman. If you ain't no. Oh man, that's hot. <laughs> oh man. All right, we're going to get this interview started. That was Diada with Superhuman. All right, I'm going to put it in the background, the instrumental version. All right. Diada, you know that's fire, don't you? <laughs> you were in the studio just bouncing your head. Yeah, I just tried to make it happen. All right, so tell us. Let's kick it off. Let's kick it off. All right. Where did you grow up? What, what, what side of town are you repping? Um, I'm repping the whole Detroit. I can, you know, I don't have a particular side. Um, I'm born and raised from Detroit. 
I've lived on the east, west side, all over. All right, because you know, let me tell you, I've lived in Atlanta, L.A., and let me tell you something about Michigan, or should I say Detroit, folks. You better tell people you from Detroit or the suburbs. You better not, right. you better not be from Southfield and say you from Detroit and meet another Detroiter. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so you are from Detroit. I'm from Detroit. All right, y'all heard that, because you know Detroit, folks, are particular. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. What well, high school? Well, I went to Cody. All right. Okay. Okay. That's too, all right, y'all. She passed the test. All right. So, what kind of kid were you growing up? I mean, Fago, Verners, name it. Uh, I was Fago and Verners. Verners when I was sick. No. <laughs> but um, I was a, a, a quiet kid, kind of shy, kept to myself, but always, you know, had this determination. I wanted to be successful. All right. So. That's that's what's up. So, who inspired you to start rapping? Who inspired me? I was encouraged by, uh, of course, Boss, uh, being right. that she was a, a, a writer, a rapper, and um, she kind of encouraged me to get into the, uh, you know, technicalities of writing and everything as right. far as songs. But as far as who inspired me, I got to say my mom. You know, when I lost my mom, okay, that that made me want to pursue my dreams and make turn that. Uh, my writing skills into a career. All right, I heard that. So, what are some of your hobbies? You know, what does Diada like to do on her spare time? Actually, I like to work out now. Okay. Um, you know, I've gotten into working out, meditating. Um, I enjoy writing, not only just songs and raps and stuff like that. I like writing, just jotting down ideas every day. All right. Okay. I got you. I need to come work out with you, boy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm not trying to wait till January. I need to do it now, <laughs> especially for Christmas. Yeah, working out is always good for the mind, body, and soul. I know that's right. And so, who are some of your favorite artists? Um, I wouldn't say I, I don't have any favorite artists. Um, I like myself. All right. No. <laughs> Keep but it I real. do listen to, Keep it real. you know, I'm keeping it real. But I do, I like, it depends on my mood. You know what I'm saying? When I'm working out, I listen to some future. Okay. Um, You know, I like G Nash. I like G Easy. As far as singers, I like Riri, of course. Okay. All um, right. Riri. Keisha Cole, Mary J. Blige. All, right. all the troopers, all the real ones. All right, so now for the moment of truth. Okay, why you're here, okay? So you're working on something. Tell us what you're working on. Yes, I'm working on, um, actually, I'm working on completing my album. That's what's up. The Rebirth. All right. Um, like I said, it's the first single, Superhuman. That's going to be released on all digital platforms as of January 20th. And um, also, we in negotiations with doing a, a documentary with Boss and Myself. Oh, oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. Hey. So, what are some of your goals now that you you got rebirth getting ready to drop in January? What's what's going on? My goals uh, right now, um, I want to kind of swing towards acting. Okay. You know, once I'm off and running, I've partnered with um, Rap Entertainment uh, out of Network. New Jersey. Okay, <laughs> out of Jersey. Yeah. And we've partnered as a music media company. Okay. So we're doing a lot of things there, you know, and I'm, I'm sure we're going to be one of the elites out there, you know. Yeah, I know that's swinging right. Them, swinging them back. <laughs> and uh, awesome. shout out to Lamar. All right, yeah, Lamar. By the way. From the D, too, but he's doing his thing in, Jer- in what, Jersey City, huh? Yeah, yeah, he's in Jersey City. <laughs> okay. All right. So what are some things you want your fans to know? Because trust me, I got some people that contacted me on Facebook Mm -hmm. all the way from Knoxville, Tennessee, and they're listening. Okay. Some people I used to do radio with down there, and they said, oh, I'm definitely going to be tuning in. (laughs) All right. (laughs) Today. (laughs) All right. What's up, Knoxville? (laughs) What up, (laughs) though? So what do you want your fans to know? What what do you want them to know about Diada? I want them to know that um, I'm a, I'm hardworking. All right. I'm a realist. You know, I'm gonna keep it real, 100. Uh, percent And I want I want my fans to know that you know, no matter whatever you're going through in life, if you got a dream, just just keep stay focused, keep working towards it, never give up, never quit. Right. You know, and um, I'm you know you'll be successful. Just keep faith. 
that's that's the main thing. That's what's up. <laughs> and be superhuman about it. Oh, hello. <laughs> I, I know that's right. We already got that established. But one thing I will say that I commend both of you ladies is that you are seem like you're real about keep supporting each other. I know it's been a while since you guys have been on that, you know, that scene and everything. But it looked like you guys kept that friendship alive, and that's what's up. Oh, yeah. Because a lot of yeah. people end up breaking off, mm-hmm. and they one person goes one way, another one goes. But it looked like you guys have all. Since the 90s, you guys still are strong and good friends. You yes. and Boss. Yes, we are. All right, That's all right. Is my mic on? Yeah, your mic is okay. on. My mic sounds nice. Check <laughs> one, right? Yeah, of your course. Mic's... And as women, you know that's a hard thing to do, right? And uh, we've had our, you know, ups and downs. You're trying to figure out business and this and that and all that. But at the end of the day, it's about winning. And right. there's no age on music, and it's not over until we win. That's right. And that's right. the motto. <laughs> right. So we still out here.